And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time amp pedal show. My name is Gabor. G'day, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check the Laney Super Cub 12. This little bad boy, isn't it cute? Yes, it's very cu cu cubby. Sure. In that's a super a, sort of that's way. an adjective. Sure. Hey, please hit like and subscribe on the video. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the notification bell and comments below, all that stuff. Be please awesome. do. Please do, please do. So yeah. I just want to mention right from the start, this was sent to us by the good folks at Laney Australia. <laughs> Not to be confused with it being an Australian brand. Some people don't quite grasp it. The Australian distributor of Laney sent us this. It's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, an English brand, most likely Chinese made, but um, yes. English says so on the front. Yes. So um, you know, let's see what it does, see what it sounds like. Yeah, and um, try a few pedals with it as well, maybe a couple of different guitars or different pickups, and um, just see how we go. So, a quick rundown of the features. Yes. Before we ever get into the controls, just the boring ins and outs in the back. There's power, an effects loop in and out, an extension speaker, a foot switch for the, both the reverb and the boost. It's not included, but um, you can use any two button TRS foot switch, yeah. and yeah, you can engage the boost and the reverb with that. So, that kind of leads us to the top panel, which starts with the boost. Yeah. And as a gain control for the preamp, uh, three band EQ, reverb for reverberization, like extra talent. Yes. <laughs> and a master volume, which makes it louder and louder and louder. Also, on the front end, you can go through the 15 watt input or the less than one watt. Yes. Oh, there it is. And it's allowed 15 watts too. It is allowed. It's yeah. little, but it is allowed amp. We're going to later on in the video also, we're going to check. Um, just in the room here, whether we think we we're both getting musicians, so mm. whether we think it's loud enough to keep it cleanish anyway as a pedal platform to do gigs with. Yep. Later in the video. Uh, so yeah, so at the moment we've got everything pretty much up and down except for the output volume, which is because we're sitting right next to it. It is quite loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's start off. I mean, let's not use a boost to, to no. begin with. Without the switch, there is a switch there to make it go on and off. You yeah. see by the little awesome red light. Yeah. That tells you when it's on, of course. So and, let's. Uh, how about let's just now let's let's start. Let's see how clean we can get it. Shell. Because I mean, people may want to use a clean and then gradually build the gain up. So this is a parts guitar. It has hotter strap pickups in it. Yeah. But it's still not like a high output humbucker. So it's they like of, Rio Grande. Yeah. The. Was it Dirty Harry? Some things. They got cool names, Harry. but I forget. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they're the hot hot strats. So like a Texas type. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> turn the gain or preamp um, volume up a little bit it, it starts to at first fatten up a little bit and then it gradually goes into break up with the yep. gain all the way down like it was just then and the volume up it's getting quite loud I wouldn't I don't know if it's maybe gig volume yet not quite drummer not quite but maybe practice volume yep if you don't have a loud um, um, drummer it goes very quiet I mean that's one thing if you wanted just to and I mean we're in a 15 watt setting if you turn the volume down this is kind of talking volume yep, that's right and it's breaking up with the gain that turned up so it goes it's very quiet for you um if you just want to practice at home and stuff like that yeah. now let's let's keep the volume at a normal level we'll do the, the the volume thing later on in the video when we've got to change things so we don't peeking the mic on the way in uh, let's turn it gradually turn the gain up and see how we're going with breakup. Thank you. 
So once it go, I don't know, sort of ten o'clock ish, it starts to break up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of. I mean, it's not unpleasantly loud, but it's getting to the point of being unpleasantly loud to sit next to it. Next, yeah. <laughs> Almost drummer worthy. Almost drummer worthy. Yeah. Uh, let's just see. Let's just keep going with the game. I'm only at about you know just past sure. twelve o'clock or on six. Uh, let's just keep going all the way up to 10 just to see how much gain is in that. <laughs> the gain on here if you want that sort of bluesy broken up little amp on the verge of exploding sound yeah this is more than loud enough for playing gigs um the thing the clean pedal platform thing we'll check out later on but i mean that got quite loud there um mm. as in loud yeah. <laughs> like gig volume loud um so that's just that was a gain on full basically right now let's try, let's turn the gain down a bit and let's find a sort of cleanish sound again and then let's look at a boost. Sure. So that's, I just turn it on but it doesn't do anything when it's in zero. I mean, it's a clean sound, a little bit of reverb. Yep. Um, we'll do different guitars with, with high output pickups in, in a second as well, but let's just check out with the Strat how much um, gain the boost has. set the amp to be fairly clean and then with the boost it hits crunch with the up. switch crunch it up gives that edge of breakup sound yeah you can i mean if you crank this now and let's crank the gain as well you can get it quite distorted <laughs> It's le that it gets loud in here, um, but that was a gain. You get quite a bit of gain out of it. Yeah. I mean, even even with a strat. Should we quickly try a different guitar? So let's try. Spin it over on your um, one with P90s. Yammies. So this is a Yamaha um, RSS uh, O2T Revstar, sent to us by the good folks at Yamaha Australia. Uh, now that, let's go back to that sort of fairly clean sound, uh, and then boost it up again. <laughs> Quite gig volume. It's probably rehearsal volume. It's definitely rehearsal volume. It depends on a drummer. I mean, it, it always depends on a drummer. If you have a drummer who hits really hard, and if you're playing yeah. music, no. <laughs> but if you're playing uh, sort of somewhat clean, maybe. But the stuff I do, I do a lot of sort of corporate cover band kind of stuff. Yep. Um, kind of dancey music. Um, this would <laughs> dancey. <laughs> This would be more than enough, I reckon, volume-wise. Sure. Yep. Uh, the drummer is not super loud, uh, and I want something that's clean with a, you know, somewhat broken up. Turn the reverb down a bit more. I mean, I wouldn't use this guitar because I wouldn't use P90s for that kind of stuff. Cleaner. It's 
Very bitey clean. I mean, that's... that's it's moving. Maybe not quite gig volume yet, but... It's close. We'll get there. We'll change stuff, because we're already almost picking the, the input stuff. Um, but it's that slightly more English style clean than American style clean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's more mid focused. Yeah. Especially with these. Should yeah. we not try the same thing and crank the gain a little bit? So just up the gain, just get driven sound. <laughs> Pushing gig volume now already, I reckon. That's right. loud. Yeah, Sydney. That's, I mean, driven. Again, it's always a clean thing. If you want a clean amp, you need headroom. But uh, if you don't mind driven, and actually, how does that. So maybe still a little quiet for gig volume, but I mean, the volume is right down at the moment. Um, but it sounds good. I mean, it's it's a big sound for a little amp. Now let's cause... crank it. That sounds cool, but let's quickly check. So I've got on the floor here, we've got a couple of pedals, because we don't know with a high gain, keep, keep the gain, Tube Screamer, to tighten it up. Ah, sure. So we've got uh, the Strayer Drive by Kink Pedals, there's a video for it here, uh, and the right hand side is a Tube Screamer. So what if we do the Tube Screamer thing, where... Takes that bottom end flabbiness out. So sure. you can do the tube screamer thing into that as well. It works. Well, that was loud now. That was definitely gig volume now. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that works. That's the thing. Into that. Um, check it with some humbuckers. Check it. Check it. Let's. Let's go to the... Um, Clean it again? Yeah, just sort of edge of breakup. Get louder. Yep. Uh, the boost just ever so slightly little bit, like not much, just on like two or something, just fattens the sound up. Yeah, it's almost like having a compressor, just sort of hits yeah. the front end a bit and tames your transients. Well, should we should we add some more gain now? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, just 
banner when it was the mids. It might be a bit uh, too much tribble. <laughs> It's a big sound. It's big. For a little amp. I think one, one of those things helping the big sound is the 12-inch speaker, not a 10, in a yeah. little, little combo. Yeah. Housing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else should, we want to do? Should we very quickly just do the Jazz Master, just because? Because, I mean, that's something what I... For, okay. Clean, right? So with cleans, this is what I'll be using more for cleans. Uh, oh, you got to... Yeah, that's turn it up That's gig volume. See, I would probably go more, a little bit more that, that more, not super sparkle clean, but a little bit overdrip. Should we try it now with one of these pedals? Sure, with a fat, like a rat. Try the fat, so this is a rat, right? So the berry pedal's fat, which you can watch the video, a link to both of them below as well. We're not picking anything? Yeah, a bit. Uh. blown out let's try to so this is the kink again the um stray drive this is the governor let's turn the volume down a little bit <laughs> one side is a tube screamer the other side is a governor style marshall style pedal this both now the governor and the tube So play just a little bit of guitar for us and we'll check out the other import. Oh yeah, 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 just to see the difference. So this is, we won't do any volume adjustments. This is just, just what happens here. So this is talking volume now, basically. And that's almost gig volume. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, that's, that's great for practicing at home. That's great for recording. Recording's definitely, yep. Uh, you don't have to, you know, hit the front of the... All that. Something's happened. Uh, that hard. Um, I think it's a pretty cool little amp. It sounds... It does come as a head, so you can now... Uh, yeah. With the cabinets if you want that more 212... I think it comes with, thing. yeah, the head has a, there's a 2x12 cabinet. I think yeah. there's a 1x12 and a 2x12 cabinet. Of course, if but you just want to use it for any. recording straight into like a, the two notes or something similar, that's also handy for a head design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the head is exactly the same. I don't think there's any difference between a head and that. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just more like that, yeah. But I mean, as in, as in what's actually in it is exactly yes. the same. So, I mean, that's, in a nutshell, that's the Laney Cub... Or Super Cup 12. Super Duper Cup. Super Duper Cup. What do you guys think? Have you got one? Have you tried one? Um, it's been out for a little while. And, um, They've been out for a while, and I think yeah. there was a different version before that as well. Mm. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do a gig with it yet. Yep. Uh, I might take it to a gig at some stage just to see what it's like, just to yeah. see if it goes loud enough. But to me, unless you have a really loud drummer, 
and you want super pristine cleans, uh, I mean, if you want super pristine cleans, this is probably not, in a band situation at full yeah. volume, uh, this is probably not for you. In a studio or rehearsal environment, uh, you get super pristine cleans to quite driven, saturated sounds. In a live scenario, I'd say, if you're happy with a edge of breaker, slightly overdriven clean, which is what I would do, personally. Yep. Uh, probably also if you're more of a single chord player as opposed to humbucker player or less humbuckers in P90s for super clean. Ah, oh, sure. <laughs> pristine clean. Um, it sounds great with it, but yep. if you want the super pristine clean and you play single coils, you may almost get there. Edge of breakup is more likely than to, you know. But, yeah. Uh, I think it's a cool little amp. Light too, which I like. I'm getting old and lazy. I don't want to like heavy stuff around. Cosmetically, I think it's cool with this um, sort of diamond grill thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what yeah. do you think? Comments below. Yeah. Also links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a um, podcast. Yeah. Check it out if you got yeah. a second. Yeah. We almost Oop, drop stuff. Almost do that on a almost regular basis. Not uh, every once in a while. Yeah. Check it out. A big thank you once again to the good folks at Laney Australia for sending this out to us. And how about I'm going to put a playlist of all Laney-related pedals and amps and stuff that we did Sounds good. Uh, at the end of the video. Playlist coming up. Oh, playlist here. See you soon.